hey guys what is up i know i look a bit like a troll right now but we're gonna get into it because the girls are being messy and you know what we do when the girls are being messy we get out our notes and we have a good old bitch and while i do that today i'm gonna put on some makeup so let's get straight into it now first thing dustin daly came out and made a video this morning about rich lux and his friendship with rich lux and it was all kind of you know i like both dustin daly and rich lux so i don't want to say that dustin was coming across as being a hater or anything it was more like dustin was kind of trying to talk to his friend that's how it came across to me i mean in the video he did say that he couldn't really talk to Rich in private about this stuff because Rich takes no notice and all of that but we're going to get into it so I'm just going to grab some brushes and stuff I've got my base on we're going to get a bit of makeup on and have a good old chat about it just going to set my eyes with a little bit of powder to start with I use the I use that one, the Jeffree Star Concealer, to do a bit of base for my eyeshadow. And then I just normally set it with a little bit of the Magic Star Powder. So, Dustin Daly came out and made a video about Rich Lux today. And it was called, Rich Lux Humble Yourself. So, straight away from the get-go, it's like, you know this is going to be, like, you know, messy. Oh, by the way, um, someone said they liked the coloured brows. Um... It is the Kat Von D eyebrow pomade, these ones. Now, I don't buy her products anymore, so I'm just using up what I've got of these. But yeah, that's what it is anyway. And yes, they're probably not even, but you know, we don't do even eyebrows over here. So let's get back to Dustin Daly's video. Dustin came out with his Rich Lux Humble Yourself video. And you know, as I said, I don't want to take sides because I like both creators, but Dustin was basically just saying a lot of things about Rich's behaviour. Dustin did say that he wasn't making the video to be disrespectful to Rich, that he will only be disrespectful to people who like directly disrespect Dustin himself. He also said that he felt that Rich wasn't grateful for, you know, his social media following and his fans and all of that. And Dustin was like, oh, you know, I value all of my my fans the people who interact with me on twitter all of this dustin went in on the thing about oh how he took care of rich lux when rich had his surgery how he looked after rich for a week and a half pretty much wiped his ass for him all of this kind of stuff speaking on that situation dustin was saying that during that time rich lux had treated him badly i don't know how much truth there is to any of that you know i'm not rich i wasn't there Dustin also kind of called Rich out for behaving like a diva on his Instagram, all the posts that you see on his Instagram, and like how one time they went to Vegas and Rich was speaking down to people and embarrassing them. Also, Dustin has come out and said that Rich was very disrespectful when they were all together for Nick's birthday, Nick Snyder's birthday. He's come out and said that, you know... They were getting in drag for Nick's birthday. Dustin was sitting there getting his makeup done and wasn't ready for the video yet. Nick was ready. Rich was ready. Rich just wanted to film with Nick, apparently, allegedly, according to Dustin. And apparently Rich got quite rude and quite arsy with Dustin over that whole situation. The main point that Dustin was making throughout the whole entire video, you know, you can watch Dustin's video yourself, but it was just basically Dustin saying how he's really not happy with Rich Luck's behaviour at the moment and he thinks that Rich needs to sort of come down a peg or two and not treat people the way that he does. Grabbing a shade from the Androgyny palette just to do some contour. Right, now, the next one to come and have a pop was, of course, Luscious. Luscious Masca now, she's been going off on Rich for fucking months. And of course she saw an opportunity to have a go at him again. So she jumped on her YouTube channel and she has decided to lay into Nick and Dustin first of all. Over them saying they want to do some paranormal content. Luscious has come for both the girls and said, 
hey, you know, oh, you're nicking that idea off of me and Joelipus because me and Joelipus have started doing paranormal content on our podcast. You know, they don't own paranormal content. It's spooky season. Anyone can do spooky content. So really, I think that Luscious is really fucking reaching with that one. Look at people like Robert Welsh. You know, he, you've got him on there on YouTube doing makeup and he also tells ghost stories. There are plenty of other makeup artists on YouTube who also do like paranormal content and ghost stories. So it really, really is not a case of Luscious and Joelipus being the first to come up with paranormal content. And I'm really not the only one who feels like that because if you go in to Luscious tweet about Dustin and this paranormal content, you can see loads of people have left comments under Luscious post you know, clapping back at her saying, hey girl, you're not the only one who's doing this. There are plenty of other people who do this kind of content. You don't own paranormal content and all this kind of stuff, which I completely agree with. It's so stupid, you know, especially on like YouTube or on a podcast to think that you own a certain type of content. It's very, very rare and very hard to come up with something that you know absolutely nobody has ever done before you you're never going to be the first anymore you know what i mean there were a couple of tweets that i really agreed with someone said for someone who plays the victim all the time you sure start a lot of the nonsense i hope you understand you didn't invent this type of thing because every single person already does this you're all just late to the game someone else said baby i love you sis but you are reaching with this one spooky time during october is nothing new you say you're not here for the drama, but lately that's been a lot of your content since after you were sick. I love your skills and talent. Please don't become one of them. So it seems like people are really not feeling luscious, getting into all the drama and kind of becoming a drama channel. As I said before in my previous video, Luscious does keep doing this. She does keep going in on Rich, Dustin and Nick. Luscious, I really, really hope she does focus on her makeup skills because it is what she's good at. But I don't know, you know, you can tell a person and tell a person and tell a person, but they're not always going to take it in. Luscious also went on to call Rich a pathological liar. And from there, she went on to say things like, oh, he wears $10 clothes. He wears $9 shirts, this kind of thing. It's all really kind of you know, below the belt kind of stuff. She's trying to do like a big expose on Rich Lux, really, really dragging him. But, you know, my opinion, it doesn't look cute. It's not a cute look for Luscious because by doing this continually dragging, dragging, dragging Rich, she's only going to ruin her own reputation and ruin her own chances on YouTube of making her channel that, you know, beautiful makeup and social change platform that she wanted. Now she's just going to be known for drama and for dragging Rich all the time. Lush also dragged Rich about the times when they were together in Houston and it was at Lush's old place. Lush claims that Rich would say that was his apartment. He would bring trade over and not get permission from Luscious. Luscious insists it was her apartment. I mean, we don't know. The girls are fighting. The girls are getting very messy. We don't know the truth, but, you know, it's sad to see someone that was a friend to Rich keep slinging all this mud his way because what they want to do is pay their rent. Oh, look, it's the end of the month and Lush is popping off at Rich Lux again. Luscious is sitting up there like she is in court or something. Oh, I solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Girl, we don't know if what's coming out of your mouth is lies, you know. Every time it's the end of the month, it is the same old fucking story. Oh, here we go. I'm going to sit my ass down and talk about Rich Lux. For someone who really doesn't like Rich, you talk about him a lot, girl. To me, this is all very transparent as well. Because while Luscious is sitting there on her YouTube channel, dragging the hell out of Rich... She's also taking money from her subscribers. So, what the fuck, you know? Her subscribers are literally paying her to insult Rich. It's a joke. It is an absolute joke. You know, they pay her, they give her compliments for her to sit there and insult someone that was her best friend. Make it make sense. So if Luscious wants to come for Rich about his clothes or whatever... But yet she's happy to sit there and take money from her own subscribers to drag Rich. What does that say to you about Luscious Masker's character? To me, I don't know, that just says someone who's very desperate, someone who will do 
anything for money and views, honestly. Like, it's got to that point with her. You know, I, it's a shame because I really did used to enjoy her content. But honestly, now I cannot sit through a Luscious Massacre video and enjoy it anymore. Because she's just gone that far that that is literally all her content is. That is the only thing that she does. On this channel here, you know, I do occasional makeup reviews. I do other stuff. I don't just talk about drama, but I do do a lot of drama videos. You know, beauty guru tea, that kind of thing. That's what my channel is, you know, and I'm very open about that. It is what it is, you know, this is what I do, you know. But for Luscious, she's got all that makeup talent, you know, all that skill and it's wasted. And it's just really, really sad to see a talented person like her who came out with all of this, you know, oh, well, I'm going to make this channel a home for people who don't have a home. I'm going to talk about social change. I'm going to stick up for people. I'm going to talk about mental health. My channel's going to be about love and kindness and all of that. And now, funny, it's about fucking dragging Rich Lux, Nick Snyder and Dustin Daly. Well, you changed up quick, girl. While all of this is going on, Rich Lux is in Vegas with his friends, living his best life. Looks like he really doesn't care about the situation at all. So, you know, hey, we'll see if Rich comes out and says anything about the situation. He hasn't as yet. I don't think he will, because honestly, I think a lot of it is jealousy on Luscious' part. I can't speak for the Dustin Daly situation. You know, that is their friendship. That is a whole other situation. But Luscious... Honestly, to me, it looks like a lot of jealousy. And on that note, I'm going to leave this video here. Go and finish my makeup. And if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.